Hey everyone. So if you're like me, you probably keep all your solvents like ether and THF dry with sodium metal. In the past, I cut the sodium in small pieces that fit in the bottle opening. This takes time and is wasteful. The best option is to make sodium wire. The wire gives you a large surface area without wasting too much of the sodium. In this video, I'll show you how to make your own sodium wire on the cheap. To make our wire, we need an extruder. I'm using this clay extruder from Hobby Lobby. Their site shows it for $11.99, but I picked mine up when all their clay products were 50% off. Anyway, the other items you'll need are the sodium and the items you need to cut the sodium with. So here's the extruder out of the packaging. Essentially, it's just a syringe you use discs in. I chose the disc with the smallest round hole that came with it. It has other disc shapes in case you decide to make triangle sodium wire. You can see putting it together is very simple. Now it's loaded up with sodium. You'll need to cut a piece that can fit in the end of the extruder. Note that the plunger of the extruder does not go all the way up to the disc. So be sure to cut a piece a little bit bigger than what you expect to use. After you're done cutting the sodium, shove the piece in the end of the extruder and replace the plunger. Using your hands, push down on the plunger until you move the sodium all the way down to the disc. I guess if you're a really strong person, you may be able to extrude the sodium with your bare hands. However, for the rest of us, we can use this clamp. You could also use a vise if it opens wide enough. I like this clamp because it's so easy to position. You simply open it up and place the extruder inside. You do need to be careful and make sure you don't cover the hole with the clamp. Once it's securely clamped in, simply continue to apply more and more pressure to the clamp. At first, nothing will happen as the sodium fills the voids in the extruder. Once there's no more voids and nowhere else for the sodium to go, it starts to make the wire. I noticed after I made the wire that the disc bent out a little bit. I thought it would eventually fail. However, I've made tons of wire with this setup and it has yet to fail. When you're done, simply remove the wire from the end. Take the device apart and remove any leftover sodium and place it back into its container. And that's how you make sodium wire on the cheap. Simply place it into any compatible solvent you wish to store dry. Note that you should only add the wire to solvents that are dry at the time you place the sodium in them. Also, it's best not to tighten the lid for a few minutes to allow any gases to escape before you seal it tight. Thanks for watching.